Well, hello there. Welcome to another weekly update. And we survived all the rain and the wind and then we got more rain. We have had so much rain, our one wheelbarrow was really full of water. And our grass is growing like crazy and I hope that you are doing well. Teddy is enjoying some free time on his short lead, eating some of this long grass that's gone to seed already. And I uh, wanted to show you something before we get started with my ground driving today. I wanted to show you something. Um, I'm gonna pull up a picture of Teddy when he was just a few days old. And as you could see, he was, <laughs> he was a chocolate bay. And of course he is a registered Appaloosa miniature horse, but he has had such a color change. I was really notice, taking notice of it. He started to get his winter coat, but from trying to get my shadow out of the picture, um, from the time he was little, he has had such a tremendous coat change, even on his face, which makes me a little sad. I love the star on his forehead. And of course that eventually is going to fade into some white. He's, he is a few spots, so he will probably be mostly completely white with a few brown garnishings on him, uh, maybe a few little spots left on him. But he has had a tremendous coat color change and he has a lot more to go. But um, he's, he's a handsome little guy and we haven't done much of anything because of all the rain but I'm going to harness him up with his ground driving harness that I use. I will be using blinkers today. And we're gonna do some, I was gonna do some desensitizing, but we've had so little driving in the past two weeks because of the weather and because of taking care of a new puppy that I am just gonna go back and do some reviewing. We're gonna go down by the pond. I'm thinking the pond's probably a lot more full now. Maybe we'll even see some uh, bass in there. And uh, we'll see how he does today. I'm curious to see after not working a whole lot with him, we gotta get back on track now. Okay, we're gonna go down towards the pond. This is on our neighbor's side. They're so kind to let us always ground drive Teddy over on their, their back. Um, and they have the pond. So we're gonna see, we had so much rain. I'm curious to see how high the pond is see if we can see any bass in there and uh, just reviewing with Teddy I'm going to bring him to a stop Teddy whoa stand no no look straight ahead no no stand and I expect he's going to be a little rusty back back and whoa and walk walk up walk and I suspected he'd be a little bit rusty we haven't done much of anything for two weeks now, mostly due to the weather, but also from getting our new Siberian Husky puppy, who is coming along nicely, just needs a lot of attention. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of rain and I'm curious to see how much the pond has come up. It was really low the last time we came back here. Come Teddy, this way, sharp turn left key. Well, it's a little bit higher, but it's amazing that it's still low. We just had such a dry summer. And, uh, but where all of this, these hills are and this grass, that's usually underwater, so. Our water table is still extremely low. There's a lot of fish in there. See them all swimming? Yeah, those are all fish swimming around in there. Loaded with fish. They're doing just fine. Come, Teddy. We're going to go right, Keith. Walk up. And I think we'll go down on this other side. We don't often go there. Um, see if we see anything. We're going to go through a little bit of brush, Keith. So, um, some leaves. Just want Teddy to be used to going through that. Walk up, Teddy. And of course, he's going to try to grab a mouthful, but they're just. Walk up, walk up, walk up. No, no, no. Walk up. Ooh, got him in my mouth. Okay, walk up, buddy. Walk up. 
That was a little rough. Hey, hey, hey. Don't fall. <laughs> he thought he'd take advantage of that. That was a really difficult place to try to walk through without him grabbing a mouthful of leaves now. That's enough. Walk up. Walk up. Good boy. Okay. Let's go down this side. We don't go down this side as often. I like to take them to new, to see little new sites. And we're going to do a lot of transitions to get him back on, back where he was before. He's a little bit rusty. So, okay, Teddy will stand. Teddy back. Teddy will, Teddy walk. Good job. Good boy, Teddy. We'll do a short little chat key. Teddy, chat, chat. walk. Oh, that was very good. That was nice. Trying not to get cobwebs in my face. I'm take them all the way down here. Our neighbor has a some uh, a boat of some sort back here. And uh, take them just a little further. Sometimes we see the feral cats come out here. There's some feral cats occasionally that come out. And sometimes there are deer. I don't see anything like that right now. And we're gonna go left and come up along this tree line piece. See if Teddy will walk through without trying to grab the leaves like before. Come left, come Teddy. Walk up, walk up. It's always fun to go through the woods. I mean, obviously, uh, let's go this way. Obviously, if I have a card on them, I'm not gonna be able to take them through here, but to really, we'll probably be doing a lot of trail driving, taking them out on the trail where there's fields and woods, and there's two. There are two parks near us that have some horse trails on them. So, I want them to be used to things. The trails will be a lot more pronounced than this. Okay, there's going to be a little branch here, Keith. You're going to have to really duck down. Good boy, Teddy. Come up, and there's also. And I got, <laughs> I got it in the face. And I think we're not going to try to go through that because I don't feel like getting poked in the eye. What's up, Teddy? A lot of branches down here. We had a lot of wind, too. And we're going to cut back through this way. Go back up this way. Good boy, Teddy. And we'll do another trot, trot, trot. Good boy, Teddy. Good boy, Teddy. And walk. That's wonderful. He's doing really good with his transitions. And here's another spot again that we can cut to the right. Go up through these trees. I don't see anything that's quite as bad as before. Maybe I'm wrong. No, they're pretty low. I don't feel like having him. I, I It's one thing if they're up at my eye level. I don't like the branches to be down at his eye level. Blinkers are not going to protect him from getting his eyes poked with branches, obviously, because they're to the sides. So he's doing really well. We'll do one more little short trot up here. Trot, trot, Teddy, trot, trot. And he's just responding very light. He's very light on the bit, hardly having to do anything. And walk, and walk. And this time I'm gonna bring him to a stop and not have him back. Whoa, Teddy, stand. Dan. Good job, walk up. So we'll go up this way. Haven't been up this way since the storm, see if any trees blew down. But um, it's always kind of a fun adventure going on our neighbor's side because there's a lot more, a lot more animals around here. Though I haven't seen anything much lately. We, we had some bald eagles, so I haven't seen them lately. I heard them Watch, this there's morning. a cobweb. I heard cobweb. some. I heard some eagles this morning. Ah, uh, so here is a little skinny bit down tree here. And I do not want him to go over that because if he has a cart, that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna ask him to low. And we're gonna, whoa, come, come left. And I hear Stormy calling for Teddy. Teddy's pretty good about leaving Stormy out of sight. Stormy more has the issues than Teddy, but Teddy, I'm very pleased is not whinnying back to her because I really don't want him doing that. Good job, Teddy. Well, 
he's got we got to do a little bit more work in fact i'm going to do a lot more practicing this week i think finally we're supposed to we're supposed to have some more rain this week and then we're going to get four or five days where it's not going to rain so we can uh do a lot more practicing because he's definitely digressed a bit he's very rusty about certain things and here again we're going to go up to a down tree but i don't want him crossing it because he would have a cart with him so i'm going to bring up to a stop whoa and a back 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 come left come left teddy walk up that was very good i don't want him going over top of trees or taking a chance of jumping over trees or he walks over a tree obviously the wheels could get caught in the spokes of the branches coming up so i hope you're enjoying these videos if you'd like to see how teddy's been progressing since we started last january be sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video it's also in my description and tell a friend or two if they're interested in learning more about driving horses, particularly miniature horses. I mean, I'm not driving him with a cart yet, but this is all the groundwork. And I've chosen to take a very relaxed, slow paced training with him. He's very young. He's about not quite two and a half years old yet. So, but I hope you have a great week and I'll look forward to seeing you at our next update. Bye for now.